Hello and welcome back to Lipper's Fun Flows Insight Report. I'm Jeff Turnahoy. For the weekend in May 28th, 2014, we saw fairly light activity across the board in all of our uh, macro groups this week. Let's take a look at the big picture and see where the numbers went. Starting off at the top, equity mutual funds had about $387 million, called about $400 million in net inflows for the week. Taxable bond funds led all groups, groups with about $1.6 billion. Municipal debt funds, not too far behind at about $600 million in. And money market funds were almost in a dead heat for zero, about $93 million in net outflows for the week. Well, it was kind of a strange week for equity mutual fund investors and ETF investors alike as we saw Dow, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, hit new highs. It had three consecutive days of uh, new uh, of good performance, I should say, and yet we didn't see a whole lot of follow through on behalf of investors putting their money into the market. So let's take a look at our equity flows uh, uh, page here, and as you can see, uh, you know, it's been pretty good as far as performance goes this week. We were up about 1.26% for the flows week, uh, which was a pretty good uh, uh, return for equity mutual fund investors. We saw uh, technology and consumer cyclical stocks lead the way, yet all of those growthy names just couldn't stir up enough passion in the market for investors to put their money to work. Domestic equity, in fact, had outflows for the week, about $451 million in uh, net outflows. Domestic, I should say non-domestic equity inflow, equity mutual funds, they had uh, slight inflows this week, 800 and some million. So overall, a very uh, slow week for equity fund investors who, despite you know good performance in the market, just couldn't find uh, enough of a toehold to put uh, more money to work. Well, let's take a look at equity ETF movements this week. Uh, they too had uh, some inflows, but it wasn't much, about $1.6 billion. Uh, we saw SPY lead the way with uh, $1.9 billion, so it accounted for the bulk of inflows activity this week. IWM, you know, Russell 2000 ETF was down at the bottom with $390 million in outflow. So really not a whole lot of activity to speak of in the uh, uh, equity ETF space. Overall, we saw diversified equity and gold funds take the lion's share of inflows. Outflows were, you know, there were f quite a few with outflows, but they weren't in meaningful amounts. So people are tending to stand pat this week in equity ETF land. Next group to take a look at is taxable bond funds. Again, they had about $1.6 billion in inflows. That's a pretty good week for them. The trend overall the last several weeks has been going down, though, from about 3 or even $4 billion a week down to $1.6 this week. So uh, we'll see if uh, anything gets uh, smaller than this. At this point, the four-week moving average looks pretty good, but that also includes some pretty good weeks in there. Uh, we also saw some strange activity. Here again this week, the 10-year uh, uh, note dropped to its lowest yield uh, in about 11 months, and yet we didn't see a whole lot of activity from uh, taxable bond fund investors. So despite seemingly a uh, thumbs up across the board uh, for taxable bond fund investing, investors just will weren't willing to follow through all that much. We did see high yield funds take in uh, pretty good flows this week. They were the, the winner overall with about $322 million in net inflows, but loans, which were last year's uh, a big winner, had about $487 million in net outflows. That's the third consecutive week that they've had outflows. So people are getting a little tired of the loan story and are moving on elsewhere. Next group to take a look at is taxable uh, ETF funds. Uh, they had uh, a pretty good week. This is their third week with over $500 million in net inflows. They've had nine weeks now of positive performance. I'm sorry, they've had a couple weeks now of good performance. Uh, they too followed through with uh, the performance that we saw in, uh, in uh, bond mutual funds. So uh, needless to say, it was a good week to be in uh, taxable fixed income, whether you were in the mutual fund or the ETF. Overall, we saw more activity focused on treasuries, high yield, emerging market debt, while on the other side of the uh, coin, we tended to see outflows from some of the less risk-taking groups or even those that were betting against treasuries. Next group to take a look at, though, is municipal debt funds. Again, they had inflows this week. $600 million is their third consecutive week of more than $500 million of inflows. So things are starting to look up. and They've been looking up for a little while, but uh, seem to have a bit more momentum lately. This is the ninth consecutive week of plus-side returns for municipal debt funds. Now, the record in our database for... Uh, 
uh, the Flows universe is about 12 consecutive weeks of positive performance. So they're definitely on a, on a good path right now. Uh, intermediate municipal debt funds led the way with about $385 million in net inflows. High yield muni, not too far behind with a couple hundred million in net inflows there, which is a good sign for the rest of the municipal debt universe because high yields seem to be the only place that was taking in money. Now we're starting to see the good news spread throughout the industry a bit more widely in terms of strategies that investors are trying to take advantage of right now. Final group to look at, and this will be a quick one, money market funds. They had a net of $93 million net outflows as retail investors got rid of about $2.6 billion of their cash products, while institutional investors allocated about $2.5 billion and change into theirs. So net net not a whole lot of new money uh, for uh, money market funds this week well join us again next week as we'll cover the flows activity for um, mutual funds and etfs or check us out online at lipperusfundflows.com and we'll talk to you again soon thanks for watching